So, my first question is, what is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of my life? Or your life? Or anyone's life? What are we here for? We were having a discussion at the back and somebody was asking, is, is getting a job meaning of life? Is working, making money? Are we really sure what we are trying to do or are we just zombies following our parents' wishes of getting job? Are we really conscious? Are we aware of what we need to do in our lives? What are we here for? What's the purpose? These are questions that we should be asking ourselves and examining them and figuring out what we need to do. One of the things that we can do without any extra effort is we can give back to the same society, to the same nation, to the same people, to the same neighborhood where we live, work and breathe, eat and spend our time, our daily lives. You may say, is that the reason you don't want to do it? Or you're too busy with your professional life and home life that you don't have time to contribute? If you can watch a cricket game for eight hours a day, can you spare two hours out of that game and donate that time and contribute? Or do you have any other excuse? Huh? I've heard that a lot, a lot. Um, so many times ke ammi ne ijazat nahi di amma ne ke ja ke main kaam karu kahin kuch bimar na ho jaye ya kya ho jaye koi le na jaye utha i mean exactly i mean you you're grown up kaun utha ke kahan le jayega i mean we are all working in this country this is our land the most precious resource that you have is your own time and yourself you should donate that even if it is for a few hours a week a few hours a month do something. There's so many great initiatives that we listen to tonight. Maybe all of you and your friends should commit to work with one of them for a few hours, a week or a month. Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that change or do something? Okay, my presentation disappeared, but we'll continue. Uh, so what's the idea that we are trying to do here? Volunteerism. It can change you. It can actually give meaning to your life. I've brought in some examples and, and we'll talk about a little bit more of what we do. One of the initiatives that we started maybe five years ago, six to be more precise, 2004, was uh, called U UM Healthcare uh, Trust. Umrana Mumtaz Healthcare Trust. It was a wish of my mother. Um, she was dying of cancer. And uh, one of her last wishes was that we could do something for rural um, health care in Pakistan. If we could build something for, for uh, I mean, people who live below the poverty line, some kind of work. Now, considering that none of us were doctors and none of our in our family had ever been related to health care facility, <coughs> it was a big move away from our traditional jobs and everything. And that is when we learned the meaning of life. The greatest wish, uh, the greatest, um, I mean, exploration that we could get out of that little request was uh, we, 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 we got to learn about a community or a society that um, has been ignored by most of us for various reasons. Take the example of floods. Now, if, has anybody been to the flood affected areas, you will notice that in those facilities, I mean, in those places, lots of health facilities never existed even before the floods. L lot of people were living in very poor conditions before the floods. Has anybody ever thought that we are going to help them? Couldn't we have gone there before the floods as well? Why do we need to wait for a disaster to hit our community and then go and help them? Why can't we help them in our daily lives? Why can't we take a Sunday off and go and do something for them? Now here, I've put in some examples. You see a truck full of um, uh, water bottles. This is on the second day of the floods. This is from a dealership. The owner of the dealership took two months off, filled his trucks with whatever he had in his store and he was buying and people were contributing. And he was distributing all over Charsatta 
and Noshera district clean water to anybody and everybody who needed it from the second day of the disaster. It was an ordinary guy who quit his job or his dealership for two months, took time off, and did this full time. There are more stories. Lots of people, I mean, you, you've heard about schools. This is a school in Aptaba. Aptaba, the fall place, it's not a rich school or, or coming from a, I mean, from a bigger city, where children from the ages of five went home and brought back at least one bottle of water. At least one bottle of water. Filled it up in the same school vans that they used to come to school and then took those vans to, uh, to flood affected areas and distributed that water. And they did it again and again and again. There are lots of stories like that. Not just of that, I mean, you, you must have heard about similar stories. <coughs> On the right side, <coughs> there's a big truck with a door open. But in that picture are two telecom professionals from Islamabad that you may not recognize or may recognize, who took their weekends off, every weekend off. They would fill up with some sort of a truck. In this case, this is a 20-foot container. They would buy products out of Islamabad or wherever, and they would come and distribute it themselves into the society that they had never met. And some of them couldn't even speak the same languages. And I'll tell you how, dif how, how disparate we've become. I didn't bring that picture up, but there were a couple of uh, people, girls who had come from Karachi to volunteer with us in one of our Charsadda medical camps. And just like any college students or, or others, they were wearing jeans and t-shirts and, and a shawl on top, just, I mean, typical dress that everybody wears. Two locals came to me and said, Ye gore kahan se hai? And, and we said, no, 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 they are not Goras, they are Desis and they are actually from our uh, Karachi, they are just visiting. Ye zuban kya bol rahe hai? I mean, they are speaking English. So, waha Urdu nahi boli jati? Boli jati hai, waha kamishalwar nahi hai? Ye bilkul hai. So, phir ye kyun isne mukhtalif hai humse? And this is uh, the exact point that we are trying to make. We are living in our own little circles and we have suddenly become so separate or different from our own society, that we've stopped realizing that we've actually forgotten 97% of Pakistan that is out there and suffering. At the bottom is a police uh, sipahi who took time off from his duty to become a pharmacist. And we, 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 we talk about police people, and he is still our health team ke kaam kar rahe hai, even after three months. And he is still helping us distribute medicines and making sure nobody steals them. Says a lot about Pakistanis and their will to give back to the society. When do you want to do that? Oops. Now, IDP crisis was the first time, I mean, uh, we personally as an organization got involved in uh, disaster relief. And that's when we met great people like Todd Shea and others. And we actually saw what it means to do relief work. Now, the area that we had chosen to work was actually Rustam, the first town out of Buner. Has anybody heard of Rustam, a town? There's a population of about 165,000 people. And when you're coming from Buner Mountains down, just like Margala Hills, and you're coming down, the first town you hit is Rustam. Nobody wanted to go. No relief agency wanted to come to Rustam. Why? Everybody was scared. Yaha bomb phatega. Yaha wo Taliban hai. Everybody wanted to be 50, 30 kilometers away from there in Mardan city. Nobody wanted to be in Rustam. We were there. Todd was there himself. His team was there. Edi was there. Just four or five of us were working in that area where there were 30,000 plus IDPs living. Not in a relief camp, but in homes of other people. We actually saw similar stories in Rustam area. There were people, I mean, I, I'll show you. The left side photograph, I don't know if you can see it because of the lights, but uh, these dekhs are cooked by people who are poorer than the people who were, they were giving food to. And, and I asked them, how do you finance this thing? And they said, very simple thing. Every home in our village and town is, is given a task. Two loaves of bread, two rotiyan, 
हर घर ने डोनेट करनी है और एक प्याला चावल हर घर ने डोनेट करना एंड देन वील कुक इट एंड दे डेड थ्रू आउट द मंथ एंड फेट फोर हंड्रेड पीपल दिस पेट्रोल पंप राइट इन द मिडल दिस इज अनदर पर्सन हु शट डाउन इज पेट्रोल पंप बिकॉज दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट बिग प्लेस आउटसाइड बुनेर वेर एवरीबडी केम and uh, they district they gave everyone uh, water they gave them um juices and food and anything in medical care and 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 we actually joined them and put our medical team right at that station before they moved on to mardan and other places so if if somebody with just 5 rupees in their pocket can donate their time why can't you this is something that we've been asking every So our motto is, just do it. Don't wait for somebody to tell you to do something good. Just go ahead and do something good. And we've uh, heard about uh, WikiLeaks. So I've been reading some WikiLeaks, and one of the positive things that Anne Patterson ta- talked about Pakistan is, and it's not in the newspapers. You have to actually read the actual content. Is Pakistani citizens have proven to be resilient people, and she's talking about. the way we stand up against any calamity and rebuild our lives without anybody's help thank you